What's going on there guys? You've officially arrived at the 420 scene and today we're going to talk about the benefits of silica, something I haven't even talked about before. But first show us some love and support by watching the entire video, dropping a like, subscribing, and tapping the post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And also check out our sponsors, Robert Bergman's ILGM and Mars Hydra for all your horticultural needs. Also be sure to join our VIP Patreon program for one-on-ones with me, tips, monthly giveaways, live streams, all that good stuff. Link will be in the description below. And don't forget, if you wanna come and sesh with us, check out our grows, follow us on Instagram. Link is also gonna be in the description below. Now, I'm not even sure actually if I've ever talked about silica, but I know some people were asking about it a few weeks ago and I figured just, you know, why not just talk about it? Now your plants don't exactly need silica to survive, but if you do give it to them, it's gonna be a game changer. Your plants will be able to fight off bugs and pests that you don't wanna have in your garden. Silica is basically known for fortifying cell walls against stress and boosting photosynthesis. So picture like an added layer of skin to your plants to fight stuff that they normally wouldn't be able to do effectively. So like I said, they don't need it per se, but it's definitely gonna increase their chance of survival and potentially even the quality of your flowers. Aside from improving their cell walls, silica does other good stuff too. Now silica increases new nutrient uptake, protects against soil contamination, enhances plant metabolism, defends your plants against diseases, and of course, fights off pests like I just mentioned before. Now, what exactly is silica? It's scientifically known as silicone dioxide, and from what I found out, it's something that we all need. Like, in nature, everyone and everything it known to exist in needs to and has to have silica, and also silica is the eighth most common element on this entire planet. <laughs> something I didn't even know, I had to look that up. I'm not trying to get off topic here, but as for our own bodies, because I mentioned that we need it, it helps build cartilage, bone tissue, teeth, your hair, and blood vessels, so it's almost just as important as the air that we breathe in every day. So this is obviously stuff that we would actually need to survive, but it's actually funny because your plants don't need it for survival, but we technically do. Now, when I first started growing, I remember the first book that I ever read, which was The Grow Bible by Jorge Cervantes, which is where I learned most of my growing techniques, and of course, I started picking out my styles of growing. I mean, everybody's gonna have a different style and different way of doing things. Heck, I was even talking with someone on Instagram who says that you don't need to cut off the fan leaves when mainlining, but I prefer to cut off the fan leaves besides the two that you see in the blue cheese in the California Dream a few weeks back. If you guys remember that grow vlog that, that we came out, I think it was like a week or two or so. The point is we all got our different growing styles and that's okay, that's perfectly fine. You know, we all don't have to grow the same way. We don't have to use the same techniques. We don't have to use the same ratios of the you know, there's so much stuff out there. And that's the great thing about horticulture, guys. Like, there is not one right answer. You know, I might tell you guys to do one thing and you guys are like, no, 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 this way is better. But you know what, to me, this way is better, but to you guys, this way is better. So, point I'm trying to make is, we all have our different growing styles. So I know I'm getting off topic again, but anyway, why is silica a thing when it comes to growing? Well, silica can help protect soil growing plants against external threats and may even boost plant productivity. As a living substrate, soil has tons and tons of microbes. Now, while some are beneficial to your plants, others can cause problems. Silica can also help to shield plants against toxins that accumulate in the soil due to human activities. So for example, when I say human activities, I'm talking about you know touching around the soil moving it around not only are some of us humans toxic but we also have toxins so that's why silica is also good I feel like silica is something that nobody really talks about and even when I started growing silica wasn't something that anybody mentioned it's not something that I was ever able to find or read about so I'm kind of here just learning just like you guys are we're learning every day we're all learning new things we're all learning from one another that's the great thing uh, I think about like a half a year ago, someone was actually asking me about silica for the first time. So then I did some research. I'm like, okay, someone using silica. Well, you know, let, let me at least look into it. And then I started using the silica, I think during the Big Bud series. And like, I'm gonna get into it later. You gotta get products that have 8% silica, not 3%. So. That's what my shop guy told me, so I kind of went with that. You guys could look it up yourselves. The Big Bud did absolutely amazing. So, silica is definitely a thing. Like, this is legit. Anyway, so let's just say that you're growing and you're having issues with your stems not being as strong as you would like them to. And of course, having a good airflow is gonna move your stems around, which is how they're gonna get stronger, but 
what if you want to make them even stronger? And actually, somebody recently just hit me up on Patreon asking. I don't. I think it might have been Bill Ritchie. It, I don't know. It was some, or maybe it was gnarly. Anyway. Somebody was asking me, you know, how do I make my stems a lot stronger? And I said, well, you know, do you have any airflow going? Oh, yeah, 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 I got some airflow. And then I said, well, what about silica? Did you try that? Oh, no, no, I haven't tried that. Try it out and see how it works out. So hopefully that kind of corrected this guy's problem. So pretty much what I'm trying to say is that that's why silica is there. Stronger and thicker cell walls also result in thicker stems and branches. And I mean, that makes sense, right? Now, when you're talking about stronger plants, you know, bigger plants, this increased size of your plants allows your plant to distribute essential substances such as water and nutrients much more easily throughout their tissues. So when it comes to nutrient uptake, it's going to be a lot more efficient when you're using silica as opposed to, you know, you weren't using silica. So we talked earlier about silica improving nutrient intake. I mean, we literally just talked about it right now. Silica helps plants absorb key nutrients much more efficiently. And not only does it help plants thrive in healthy soil, but it can help them survive in a growing medium largely depleted of minerals. Now, adding silica to poor soils can help your plant's root tap into the low levels of nutrient present, increasing the chance of rewarding yield at the end of the growing cycle. Well, that makes sense. If you have better nutrient uptake, there, they have, there's more accessibility for those nutrients, so you're gonna have you're obviously gonna have a bigger yield that way. Now, your plant's metabolism is also super important. Silica can help drive plant metabolism, which ultimately leads to more rapid growth and more efficient energy production. Plants that are given the silica manage to make higher levels of chlorophyll, which enables them to photosynthesis and create sugars at a superior rate. And you'll start to see the differences in colors of your leaves. So it's not a whole bunch of BS, this stuff actually works. So if you have a problem with your leaves staying green, I'm telling you, you add that silica in, your leaves are gonna turn that lush green that we all know and love, you know? And lastly, which is the most important thing to us growers is how do you apply the silica and how much do you give them? So I know I got a little ahead of myself a little earlier, but what you wanna do is you wanna look for supplements that have 8% silica. Now, the reason I say that is because you gotta be careful because a lot of the products out there, they have 3% and you don't want that. So be sure that you look for 8% silica. I know I'm sounding repetitive, but if that's what it takes to get you guys to remember 8%, then you know what, so be it. Now, obviously a lot of you guys know that I'm a soil grower. So this goes out to all the soil growers out there. I can't really speak too much about the hydro stuff because I don't grow hydro, I'm more of a soil guy. But we can use silica throughout the entire growing cycle. Can you believe that? Some people are gonna say that you have to stop after maybe the third week of flowering, but I mean, why stop there? Keep it going. It's not gonna hurt your yield, so all I see is pure benefit. Silica will increase your pH, so just keep that in mind, the pH after you add the silica. Also, do not mix your nutrients with the silica. That's gonna have to be a separate thing. So if you mix them together, you're, you're gonna have issues. So give them the silica on the days that you normally wouldn't feed your plants. So if you're like me and you water, feed, water, feed, give them the silica during the watering, not the feed. As far as, like I said, as far as the hydroponics, I don't grow hydroponically, so I can't help anybody that has any questions about hydroponics. Now, question, why not hydroponics? I don't have that much room to work with. I've never been that interested in hydroponics. It is interesting, but to me, I've always been a soil guy. I like to get in there, get my hands dirty, get into the soil. So for me, I can only answer questions that you have for soil and not hydroponics, so sorry guys. So we have a new grow vlog coming out on Sunday, and yes, I know, I don't upload on Sundays, but we're gonna come out with videos on Sundays from time to time. It's not gonna be part of our Tuesday and Friday schedule, but if we have some grow vlogs, or even if we do some life vlogs or adventures, it's not gonna take away from the regular uploads. It's just gonna be some extra content that I come out with, so just keep that in mind. So Tuesday and Friday uploads will not change, but now and then, we're gonna have an extra Sunday video for you guys to look forward to. Now, the reason we're gonna be doing this is to appease the people that are complaining about, you know, you know, there's not enough growth stuff on the channel, while at the same time keeping a lot of my content monetized, because end of the day, I gotta make money guys. I gotta earn something as well. So hopefully you guys can understand that. So on Sundays, we're gonna have some grow vlogs. We're gonna have extra content. So I think this is gonna be the best solution for everybody. So you don't think that I'm taking away the Tuesday and Friday videos with something that's not maybe grow related or anything like that. So that's why I think the Sunday videos are gonna be like, we might have one Sunday video per month. We might have four videos 
like every Sunday per month. It, it's not gonna be a schedule, so what I'm trying to say is just check on Sundays if there's a video at nine in the morning Eastern time, so that way, you know, you're not gonna miss out on anything. All right, guys, so that should wrap up today's video. I hope I gave you guys some good information on silica, but before I close off, I wanna thank everyone that's been supporting me on Patreon. I really do appreciate it, so I'm gonna close off today's video. Be sure to drop a fat thumbs up, drop that fat like, and subscribe for more content, and I'll catch you guys in the next one, and as always, stay safe. Peace.